Hey guys, I'm out. This is my little van. This is Suzuki Carry, and I turned to a camper van. Check it out. So it's in very good shape, good body work. Um, it's got aluminium wheels from an old Hyundai. Nice chunky wheels. And where else can we see it? It has a awning that I fitted. Um, we have a 470 liter roof box mounted on top. So you guys, you can put your, your yeah, all your stuff in there. Uh, we had inflated, uh, inflatable kayak in there, so it's really useful. We have a 120 uh, watt solar panel on top. And at the back we have a 60 litre water tank, but I'll uh, talk more about that in a moment. Let me show you the inside. So there you go, you can see there's a sofa bed in there. It's 200 mil memory foam and it turns into a bed uh, very easily. Um, down here we have the compartment for your bedding needs. Got sleeping bags in there, you can put bedding in there, whatever you want. It's quite a lot of space in there. And yeah, just with one tug, it turns into a sofa bed. If you just stay over here. Use the armrests, you put them at the bottom, push it all the way there. Now you have a full length double bed. Custom blackout curtains also. And what else? Up here we have a little strap that uh, turns the van into your own little, own little cinema. If you have an iPad with a magic keyboard, just clips it like that. And if you come back over here, you now have your own little cinema. And if you can see at the ceiling, we have four dome lights. They're all 12 volt. Uh, with the mounted dimmer switch just here. It's quite nice and cozy. Two in the, in the back, two at the front, which also eliminates the, the worktop kitchen area, which I will show you in a moment. But let's switch these off for now. And turn the bed back into a sofa. It's very easily done. Just grab sides. There's a big leather strap here that you just pull, tuck it in, push it back. And there you go. Pull that back. And then while you're back there, I'll show you some, some more bits. Also just a single bed. Here yeah. we have a wall mounted pop-out table with another table inside. Check it out. Um, behind each seat, we have the foldable chairs, which I've already assembled. They're just over there. Have a look. And we have a fridge freezer mounted in this little compartment. As you can see, it's on four degrees. Tasty treats in there. On the side we have a 20 litre folding bucket. Very good to fetch water from a stream or river, wherever you are. A 12 volt fan, quite good when it's too hard to sleep. Uh, we have a car pump, 12 volts as well, and a 12 volt Hoover, a little vacuum cleaner. While we're here, let me pop out the awning for you.
Got a stool as well if you need it. Summer nights. There we go. What do I get? Let's show the interior of the cabin. It has all been felted, which is unusual for a carry. We've got some cool fabric that we mount on the visors. Um, and if you can go quite close there, you can see the little box on the bottom. As a split charge relay, meaning the alternator of the car charges the leisure battery, which I will show you in a moment. Drinks holder as well. Okay, Let me show you the back. Here we've got two drawers, as you can see. Left one. Is a double cooker with storage capabilities of four gas canisters. Um, we have a pan, we've got a kettle, two liter pot, espresso maker, cups. Just a click. Like so, open that up. The lighter there. That ready to cook. On the right hand side. We have another drawer which shows uh, a hose that clips into the 60 litre tank that I showed you earlier. We have a look on the side here. We have a tap so you can either fill up your bottle just from the tap or clip that in. There you go, fill up your, your bottle or your, your pot for your coffee. Gravity fed, so it's not the greatest pressure, but you don't need a pump. Just pretty nifty. That angle there. And in here, we have a pop out sink for your washing, sponge, drying cloth, chopping board, cutlery. And then this slides back, giving you a little work surface. And behind that, we have your little, um, little pantry. Got all kinds of spices all stocked up. Space for all your tinned goods. There you go. And again, those are the uh, dome lights illuminate very nicely here when you're cooking. And the uh, tailgate of the car uh, shelters you from rain. Very, very nifty. You never run risk of uh, popping the gas back without disconnecting because it won't fit anywhere. So it's a very good safety feature. Goes. Did I show the electricity in here already? No? So everything goes to here. The leisure battery is mounted under the bonnet. Runs through terminal here. Um, then we have a 12 volt terminal with USB connections, a couple of 12 volt plugs, uh, fridge, freezers plugged in there, and a fuse box at the back. Um, we've got spare plugs, spare fuses in here and a little blackout curtain for the rear. Let me show you that quickly. Poppers. There we are. Cozy. Back over this side. As I said, it's a double sliding door. So we've got a few more bits here. So the shallow drawer where I put all my survival stuff on my knives, hatchets, 
toilet paper, mosquito spray. And I'm gonna draw it on here for all your clothing. Enough space for me. And that's about all the storage. Down here, uh, which is a bit hidden now, is the amp and subwoofer. It's a 400 watt uh, subwoofer, uh, which makes a good, good amount of noise. Kenwood subwoofer. Comes with a little remote control here. I don't know if you can see that. Little knob to adjust the bass. It is quite, 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 it's a sturdy bass. Good sound system. And then let me show you the leisure battery quickly. And we're done. So as you can see, the solar panel is connected at the moment. So whenever you're driving, you let the split charge relay charge your battery. But once you're stationary, you will use the solar panel which you plug in. Uh, at the moment, we're running on 12.3 volts. And that charges the battery while we're stationary. Enough to, to uh, charge the fridge freezer to be able to freeze as well, which is quite, it's quite good. Uh, then you've got your AA breakdown kit, um, got your car jack, got a jerry can here, and a 110 amp power max sealed LED leisure battery. And I think that is the little van. Yeah. Sad to see it go, but we have a little baby <laughs> and only has two seats, so it needs to, it needs to find a new home. Um, thank you.